Now, the French government is presenting a new bill to secure the use of the internet, fight harassment, as well as various online scams. The law should get broad support after a tense period in Parliament uh, with the fight over the pension reform uh, law. Now, the government aims to ban users who have been convicted for fraud or hate speech from using social media. For more, we can bring in France 24's Shirley Sitbon. Shirley, great to see you as always. Talk us through what kinds of tools are being pushed forward. Special filters, uh, you know those systems where there's uh, these uh, people trying to deceit users, they send you those emails and the emails I hate those. trick you, they take you to some sites which ask you for personal information and even credit card numbers and that's where you're, you stop, you say no, there's something wrong here. Usually it's from uh, areas you're supposed to trust, social security, uh, tax authorities, uh, they tell you they owe you money, so you almost fall into the trap. But many people do fall into those traps. And now the French government uh, wants to put in place various laws which will toughen regulations, uh, things that are not uh, being done today. For example, having special lists for malicious sites. Uh, that way, platforms will break the link between the user and these sites. Uh, they'll be banned. They'll, they won't be uh, available online. All these lists will be given to uh, various platforms. Mm. Uh, on the net, which will have to comply. That's what the French government wants to do, but that's very difficult to do. And uh, I talked uh, a while ago to the director general of uh, Kaspersky France, Bertrand Trastou, and he explained how this is supposed to work. 25 years ago, our company had to face one malware per day. Today, we deal with nearly 400,000 of them every day. The threat is expanding exponentially. Our attackers, those malicious actors who are constantly issuing new threats, are very volatile. They have great imagination. Are we asking like a cat and mouse, trying to avert new attacks? Yes. But in this situation, we need harsher regulations, more flexible regulations that we can adapt to today's evolving environment. And surely, given that there are more of these online attacks taking place, why are people not protecting themselves? Because they think they're smarter. Apparently, people even fall into these traps several times. And there was a study done recently where basically they're not taking any of the measures they're supposed to take. There's no, maybe not enough education into this, just using the same passwords, falling into traps, doing games, uh, playing games where you put all of your, your parents' maiden names, uh, your pets' names, and all the things Birth that dates, can, yeah. exactly can be used by all these people who want to trap you and get your codes. They're using the same pass passwords in various sites. People are not uh, taking this seriously, and there's so much money that's uh, being taken away from them globally. There was a French parliament report that says that six trillion dollars uh, were taken in the, to this uh, cyber criminality worldwide per year. Uh, that's a lot of money. So basically. One of the rules is uh, teaching people how to about this threat and teaching them how to avert those traps from uh, school, even when they're children, uh, explaining this to them because many of them don't realize, realize how dangerous this is. And there's also uh, a bunch of tools they'll put in place to basically uh, force uh, companies to, to, to be taken offline. There, there's going to be uh, blocking in an administrative way. Today in France, there needs to be a court decision to block a site. Well, this is going to be bypassed, apparently. And for example, any site that's guilty of fraudulent activity or hate speech will just be banned this is one of the propositions in this law. But then again, uh, the French regulator, which is supposed to protect uh, everyone's rights, uh, internet users' rights, is going to have to oversee this mm. to make sure that uh, everyone is being protected. I, I heard that if you get a suspicious text, you can forward it to a special number. I don't know what that number is, but at least it does exist. Yes, exactly. So Anyone can report those. It's going to be made easier, and various uh, French bodies uh, will be able to, to you know, add uh, various sites to this list. To block them because yes, people get yes. a lot of, uh, of these fraudulent messages. Now, let's talk about uh, minors, uh, Shirley, because they are at the heart of this proposed law. Uh, talk us through that. Yes, they're at the heart of this because uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of 
harassment uh, and people who uh, who harass online, not just children, anyone, of course, um, well, they'll be banned from social media and social media will have uh, to ban them. Uh, there will be tougher regulations today. It takes too much time. The idea is to bring more flexibility uh, to adjust to the new system, uh, the changing uh, frauds and the, the more and more harassment online. So making this much faster, much harsher. And also you have uh, pornography. You said so, I mean, how do you protect small children? Today, one out of every uh, six children uh, under the age of eight uh, has seen pornography on various sites. And we're not talking about sites anymore, but about platforms, even big ones like Twitter, for example, or any platform, any social media. The idea is to force them to take this off. And even with prison sentences for uh, people who do not take this off within 24 hours, uh, well, they, they can, could face that if the law passes and the idea is to protect uh, children. And of course, with pedo criminality, uh, uh, this is even more, that's when prison sentences are uh, being considered. Thank you very much for that, Shirley. Shirley Sitbondar.